guys welcome back to another video i'm so excited to see you guys once again thank you for joining me so today i'm going to show you guys my everyday kind of drawer and i'm going to declutter it so let's go ahead and get started Okay, so this is what I call my drawer just because in my room I don't have a lot of space for my makeup So I keep it in this what I call drawer this, this is originally for you to keep like your threads all that stuff for people that do sewing and all that good stuff So this one originally I got it from Walmart. I believe it's Walmart still carries it I believe they do. Yeah, I got it for $12. So this is what it looks like it comes with three compartments I'm gonna start with the very top one show you guys what I have I have some things here that I no longer use, which I'm gonna take out, which is why I'm like decluttering it, because I have some things that I'm like, I really don't use anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this one right here. This one I no longer use. Bronzer, highlight, and like a highlighting powder. This was like a highlight for your highlights, and this was like for your dry area. And okay, another thing that I really, I'm kind of like, I reach for it, but I don't reach for it a lot. Here's the Airspun Loose Face Powder. But this one, I got it in naturally neutral, as you guys can see. I need to get the translucent one, maybe that one I would like. But this one, it's part of like my everyday makeup routine here and there. But then sometimes I really don't use it. I just don't use any powder at all. So this one, I think I'm going to just put it on the side. I'm not going to put it back in here. I see some stuff that I do need to take out, like this one. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This one, I used to use it all the time until I found this one, which is the Born This Way Too Faced Concealer. I love this concealer so much. I used to use this one, but then I realized this shade goes way much better with my skin tone color, so I'm not gonna use this one anymore but I'm gonna keep this one in the box. The thing that I have and I use for my everyday makeup routine, this one, I'm gonna leave it here. This is the Soothe and Cool Peppermint Plus Camelville Trading Massage Oil. It claims to be a massage oil, but I put it all over my face before my foundation, and my foundation glides on so smooth. Like, I cannot explain to you guys. Another one that I love is the Seattle London, and this is the Bamboo Bronzer. This one right here. I love it. I use it so much, and you guys should totally try it out. For my eyebrows, I always use the Anastasia Dip Bar Pomade. I've been trying a few other stuff. I believe in which department do I have it? I call them departments. <laughs> my brows, I use these two right here. The Anastasia Dip Bar Pomade, but look at my pomade. Look, you guys. Do you guys see that? It's like super dry. I almost, I like I literally hit pan. I need a new one. So it's very hard for me to build a very straight line of how I want my brows to be. So what I've been using to outline is the Maybelline Define a Brow and Pencil. Define a Brow Pencil. It looks like this and it comes with a little spoolie. So I typically outline my brows. Sorry, I'm trying to like fix myself. I typically outline my brows with this one and then I fill them in with the Anastasia Dipper Pomade. Plus you guys know that I'm not a big blush person so throughout the time i have been going in and out with blushes but this is just the one blush that i've been keeping in my drawer for the longest this is the romantic blush powder blush and it used to be the shape of a rose but it's no longer because i use it i use my blush just here I just grab it and just dab it on my cheeks i don't just like put a lot just because i don't like how it looks. I feel like it looks like I have too much. This one is one that I use all the time. It's my Ambient Light Correcting Primer Hourglass. This is a dim light. This one has kind of like a tint to it. So when I really don't want to wear any, any makeup at all, I just put this one on top of my face. I mix these two and I put it all over my face with mascara and lip balm and like I feel good to go. So that one I highly recommend if you're a person that likes makeup, you want to look like put together but not too much makeup, highly recommend that one. This one, the Revlon Color State Liquid Liner. I believe some of you guys saw that I barely got it in one of my TJ Maxx hauls. And I was super excited. I just thought that it was going to be one of those little thin brushes and it came out to be these like thick one right here as you guys can see. I'm not a big fan of this one because it doesn't really make a line like straight precise line. So this one, I'm not going to put it back in my box, declaring that one because I, I don't even need it, honestly. Don't need it. I just thought it would be so fun to sit here with you guys and talk to you guys about what I use for my everyday makeup and then take out what I don't need so you guys are kind of like helping me declutter the box. It's Beautified Primer by Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Find. 
this one i love this one it smells like roses and i love it so much as you guys can see it's like almost i'm almost running out of it i'm a big fan of primers i will mix up to two or three primers just because i really like that you know i really like my face to look very smooth not cakey when i put on my foundation so this one i really love it this is the really dreamy louis concealer and this one i don't like it so i'm gonna take it out i don't even need it here the maybelline eye studio this one is the blackest black this one i love it for my eyeliner a lot of you guys always ask me what do you use for your eyeliner i used to be very very good with this one but i think i became much much better with the liquid ones that are now i'm used to the liquid ones and i'm not very used to these but typically whenever i use a liquid they're not like black black so that i go over with this one to make it more black so that's why i keep it in my drawer i do keep a couple lippies you guys will see that all my lipsticks look the same because they are almost the same tone this is velvet teddy by mac and i love this this is, has to be one of my favorites i'm almost out of it i need to go buy a new one once i run out i'm definitely gonna go back because i love this one i have this by nars it's called anna this one is my favorite one. It's just a very pretty dusty pink, but a more of a dark dusty pink, and I love it. And it's magnet like this. Whoop, whoop, I love it. Okay, so, oh, and then my eyelash curler, but it's just a very, I think it's by, it's Shumira, 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 I don't know. That's the brand of the eyelash curler, but yeah. Okay, so we took out a couple things for the first one. That's very good. It looks more empty and more, a little bit more organized now. Now to the second one. Here's where I keep most of my palettes that I use for an everyday. If you guys notice, here or there in a video, I will wear a very dramatic shadow. But other than that, it's just always very neutral colors, very natural. This is one of my favorite palettes. It's by Milani. I haven't been using this one lately, but this one, I highly recommend it. It's amazing. It's the 05 and Earthy Elements. But because I haven't been using it lately, I'm going to take it out just because I don't need it. I was also using the MAC Studio Eyebrow, this one right here. I was using it for a more natural look, just when I was running errands and stuff. But lately, I haven't even been doing my brows. I've just been kind of putting the primer and the oil with mascara and lip balm. So this one, I'm not going to use it anymore. So I'm going to take it out and put it on the side. I do keep all my makeup that I don't use in a separate bag. It's like a huge bag like this big. And then when I get bored of these products, I go back to that bag and start digging out to see what I want to try next. So that's what I do. I don't just throw it away or put it to the side. I keep it in a bag where I keep it. And when I get bored of using these products, I go back and dig in that bag. And I'm like, okay, I want to try this, this, that, and that. So that's what I usually do. I keep... I don't even know why this is here. This is the 24 hour infallible pro matte. This is the Too Faced Natural Matte Eyeshadow Collection. Okay, now this palette I typically only carry with me when I travel just because it's really small, very convenient, fits in my bag and all that stuff. But as of now, I'm not gonna be traveling anywhere, so I'm gonna take it out. I don't need it. Uh, this e.l.f. And this is the translucent powder. This powder I do use all the time, and I really like it. Onto concealer. I use this palette right here. This palette comes with every single concealer shade you need. And this is supposed to be for pros, for like makeup pros, makeup artists, all that stuff. Uh, but if you guys did not see this one, you received it in BoxyCharm a long time ago. My sister-in-law gave it to me. She was like, I feel like you would need it more than me. So she gave it to me and as you guys can see, I already had pan in a few of these. But this one, I carry it everywhere when I travel because if I need to cover a boy, if I need to cover my under eye circles, if I need to conceal, if I need to do contour, everything is in this damn little book right here and it is totally upside down there we go these two palettes are palettes that i use these palettes i do keep here because i use them all the time before i found this palette at marshall's it's the she makeup neutral eyeshadow palette number one i used to use this palette this palette is so old and I probably shouldn't use it anymore, but I still use it just because I still love it. I feel like I can't let go of it just because it has colors that I use on an everyday basis. This is Sonia Kashuk IO Neutral 02 Eyeshadow Palette. Light all the way to darkest. I can do a very natural look, bulky black look. I just love that it comes with the colors I need. On this makeup neutral eyeshadow palette, which is this beauty right here. Oh my god. Look at those colors right there. I love them so much, you guys. Look at those colors. They're very pink. Let me show you. Okay, let's see this one. You guys see? Very pigmented. They go right on the eye very nicely. So this palette is one of the ones that I've been using on my eyes every single time. I love it. 
highly, highly recommend it. Okay, moving on to the last drawer. Boohoo is the last one I have. Keep a few items that I use all the time. One of the items that I have to use all the time is my highlight. The one, the one I'm wearing right now. This is a soft agent to mineralize skin finish and I don't, oh yeah, soft agent. I was like, what's the name of this? It's soft agent to my Mac, but look at this, look at this. It shattered, it broke. So I usually use this side um, to apply my highlight. I don't re typically reach out for this one just because it's like it's really messy and it's everywhere. But this one, I really love it. Another thing that I always keep here is my duo glue. This is a white clear. I'm thinking of changing eyelash glues because this stinks horrible. Like this stinks really, really bad. I hate the smell of it. I just hate it. So I think I'm going to change to another glue. So if you guys know of any eyelash glues that are your favorite ones, comment down below because this one smells horrible and I hate it so much. Ugh. This is my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick Compact. I don't reach out for this one anymore since I did find, again, my Soft and Gentle. Before I found this one, I was using this one, but I don't use it anymore. You guys can see that they're very bronzy colors. So I'm going to put this one to the side because I don't need it. Uh, tools that I need use are my tweezers and this right here that's like to shave your brows. That would have been so hilarious if I would actually shaved it. Like, usually I use it to clean my brows, in between my brows, or like my stash or like the sides of my hair I usually use this for so I always keep it in here and then another eyelash curler think of a jiggy these as you guys can see all these lippies look the same huh they look the same this is the liquid cat suit by wet and wild and this was that give me mocha one of my favorite ones then I have this Aurora Ultimate Matte Liquid Lipstick. I don't know the name of this one. I think I took it off because it came at the bottom. But I know these retail for $8 and they are amazing. Then I have this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This one is in London. It's one of my favorite ones. I usually mix London and give me mocha and they make a beautiful combination. And then last but not least, I keep the My Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. And this one, I got it at TJ Maxx. It was $5.99 and look at this beauty. I love it. I love the packaging. Not only do I like the packaging, but I love that it keeps my face matched. Do you guys see this? It is currently... 3 p.m. and I did my makeup at 7 a.m. and it is super matte looking. And I already went outside. I did a whole bunch of stuff and it kept it matte. So if you guys find this at TJ Maxx, we get it. It really does keep your makeup long lasting and it keeps it matte. And you definitely need to check it out. A couple things away, as you guys saw, I took this stuff away and I took this away. And I took all of this out of my little drawer. That's what I call it. I took all this stuff away. Now I'm going to put it in the back where I don't typically reach for that makeup. But I still leave it there just in case when I get bored of these, I go back. And then that's how I do. Like a non-ending cycle. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Love you guys. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.